So I have an important message today and that is that I want people to stop testing their dog's training. Um, this happens an awful lot of the time. People will begin a training program with their dog, they will start working on their dog's behaviour for one thing or another and in really very early stages of their training they try to test it to see how a dog will react in a situation. Um, this could happen maybe with a dog that you're teaching a recall, maybe you decide one day you're just going to let them off the lead and just see what they'll do, you know, um, see if they still come back to you when there's dogs that walk past or see if they'll not chase that deer. Um, maybe you've been training a dog to be not anxious around other dogs, so you decide to introduce it to another dog just to see what will happen. Um, and recently, a colleague of mine um, had a dog that was also tested midway through their training. Really, it was far too early for that poor dog and they were left with a, a workman that had come into the house. Um, this dog was really anxious around strangers, but they had made some progress. They were um, midway through a training plan. They were doing things. Um, but on this day, they decided to see what would happen if they just left him loose in the house with this workman. Um, and this did not end well. The workman got bitten by the dog um, and he made a complaint. And um, the dog is going to get punished for this. Um, there's no way around that. The dog is um, has been put at risk by this family and that was a real shame because that didn't need to happen. We didn't need to check that. That dog could have been kept safe. They could have advocated for their dog. They could have kept him out of the way. He didn't need to be anywhere near that workman. Um, your dog, when they're partway through their recall training, does not need to be tested. We do not need to test our dog at the front door to see what they'll do when Granny comes in. We don't need to have Granny getting knocked over just to find out if our training is working yet or not. Um, we need to trust in the process. Um, we cannot risk testing our dogs at this level to see if they're going to do what we hope they're going to do if we're not sure and it's so unnecessary that workman did not need to be in the house with a loose dog he just needed to get on with his work and he needed to go and that's really all that needed to happen and i hear about this happening all the time the tesco man gets the poor man he has things tested on him delivery men amazon men test you know postman um all of them can feel the brunt of this when we try to check to see if our dog's training is working or not. And we can check if our training is working on ourselves. We can recreate situations. Um, we can have people volunteer that our dog knows really well. We can use long leads. We can make situations safe so that we are able to keep testing this. But we shouldn't test this real, in real life, especially not when we're talking about dogs that have shown anxiety or fear or aggression or something like that. It's just not worth it. There's no point in taking that risk. When they're in the early stages of their training, they need us to support them. They need us to advocate for them. It's really hard for a dog to change their behavior. Um, once a behavior has become a habit, it got that way because it served a purpose. If your dog um, was showing aggression to people that came to the house, there was a reason for that. He was doing that because he wanted to keep himself safe. He was doing that because he wanted the other person to go away. He wanted to keep the house safe. You know, there was lots of reasons behind that behavior and it worked. So once we try to change that, we're giving them more alternative behavior. They have to really put a lot of trust in us to stop doing something that's worked for them in the past so many times. And you know, it doesn't have to be as serious as fear or aggression. With that recall problem, a dog that's run off on a recall when we've called them is maybe just going off to play with his friends or he's just following a scent. He maybe isn't even going very far. He's just finishing off sniffing something that he was interested in in the ground. But that's rewarding for him. That's fun. That's what he wants to do. It's much more fun than coming back to us for a dried up dog biscuit. So whenever we're trying to change a dog's behaviour, we have to remember that the behaviour they were doing before became a habit for a good reason became a habit because it served them really well. And when we're trying to change that into a behavior that serves us better, we need to support them and we need to work really hard at it. We need to practice and practice and practice far more than you think. Once we think we've achieved something, we've still got lots more practicing to go because even when we think that our training is working, actually our dog is still depending on us to support them. They're still depending on us to be ready, to get our treats ready, to help them, to guide them, you know, to be in control of a situation. And when we withdraw that, then they go back to their old habit because it was better for them than what we're trying to do. 
we don't give up our habits easily and neither do our dogs so testing is um just setting our dogs up to fail and unfortunately for that poor dog and that's not the first time i've heard of situations like this happening he's going to suffer from this because the outcome could be that maybe he has to be rehomed maybe he has to be muzzled all the time maybe he maybe it's worse than that the outcome is yet to be told but um i really hope that that dog can get back on track um and get past this but it's going to be really hard for them now a complaint has been made especially as they were mid training so don't spoil a good training plan by testing your dog's behavior it's much better just to keep going and get a really good record of repetition good experiences over and over and over again and then maybe one day you never need to test it maybe one day you know it just all falls into place but we don't need to check just to see just keep training Take care for now. Bye-bye.